that time of the year, allergy season, and we know what to do when we get allergies, but what happens if your dog is itching and scratching all day long? Does it mean that they're having allergies too? Well, I took one of my dogs, Mocha, to visit our vet to see what we can do to help our dogs who are allergy ridden. Take a look. Well, it is now April, and that means lots of allergies for both humans and dogs. So what do you do when you think your dog has been itching and rolling through the grass? How do you know if they have allergies and how do you treat them? Well, this is why I'm here with Dr. Wiblin, who is with Foss Animal Hospital, and this is actually my vet. So um, tell me a little bit about Mocha. She's been itching like crazy, as you can see right over here in her inner thigh. It's all red, but her eyes are just... They look horrible. So what's going on? Well, there definitely are a lot of allergies going on right now. And when people get allergies, they get the runny eyes, runny nose. When dogs get allergies, they usually get itchy pink skin. It can be itchy ears. It can be itchy feet. It can be an itchy butt. It can be an itchy belly. Uh -huh. So we're doing an acetate tape test. And all I'm trying to do is to get some cytology from the surface of Mocha's skin. Okay, well, let me ask you, what's cytology? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where we actually look at some of the debris and some of the cells that are sitting on the skin. And, and like with Mocha, I'm worried about that she has a yeast infection secondary to her allergies. So we'll look at this under the microscope with some stain. Okay, and so it, all you did was just take some tape and kind of get the layer of her, uh, her hair off. You had something, some advice on how we can maybe prevent if we know that our dogs do have allergies. All right, like with Mocha, she gets this problem every March or April. So I would say starting beginning of March, maybe bathe her you know, every week or every other week, because bathing and the shampooing is with a medicated shampoo will help make her more comfortable. Okay. And if you start early before she's already inflamed like okay. she is now. So what are some things that we could do at home with what we have if it is that, that Mocha is having allergies? If they're going out into the grass and mm -hmm. then they come back in and they're really itchy, you can take a washcloth and moisten it and wet them down. And the idea is to try and, if there's any pollen that's on their fur or on their feet, you're kind of wiping it off of them. So you're getting rid of some of the allergen that's something easy that you can do at home okay we also use antihistamines often that will help alleviate mild allergies okay like Benadryl yes okay so one last tip what can we do with our dogs make them feel more comfortable especially this little one um, fatty acids mm -hmm. something I didn't mention we're using that for a lot of different inflammatory conditions but it sometimes it helps a lot with itchy skin okay and mm -hmm. how can you get that is that in a dose of pill or if it's a type of food uh, well the supplement is better okay and it comes in a little capsule looks like a vitamin E capsule and you can squirt it on their food or you can just give it to them. Okay, well, I appreciate all of those tips. So if you have a dog that has allergies, well, don't treat them at home. If you suspect that something's not right, definitely we recommend that you visit your veterinarian. But there's some simple little things to make your dogs feel a little bit better. Oh, does Mocha feel better? She does. Good. She does. I to see that. Well, $110 love yeah. later and a bag full of medicine. But yeah. I hopefully you learned something new today, and we'll see you tomorrow at the same time, 3.30. The News at 4 is coming your way next here on ABC 15. Have a great day, everybody.